This video, identifying illicit discharges in the coastal plain, is for Hampton Roads municipal employees who often work out in the field. The video is about how you can help protect clean water in the course of your everyday job duties. Your locality is responsible for safeguarding local water quality through its environmental and stormwater management programs. Protecting water quality involves keeping pollutants out of waterways by identifying and reducing sources of pollution through various management practices. Your local stormwater program is enlisting your help to protect local waterways. While out in the field, you may witness potential pollution sources that are important to report to your local stormwater staff. We want you to know how to identify and report water pollution that may otherwise go unnoticed. Your locality has a regulatory responsibility to protect local waterways through a permit issued by the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality. This permit mandates a program to reduce pollution to the municipal separate storm sewer system, typically referred to as the MS-4. The MS-4 is a system of manholes, inlets, pipes, ditches, and stormwater practices, such as ponds and basins, that together carry water to local waterways. Pollutants can flow through the MS-4 system during rain events and during the drier times between storms. During storms, rainfall can pick up many pollutants from roadways, parking lots, fertilized turf areas, and other land surfaces in the community. Managing this water is referred to as stormwater management. However, most people are not aware that pollutants also enter our waterways during the intervening dry periods when it is not raining. These dry weather pollution sources are the subject of this video. How can pollutants enter water during dry weather? The MS-4 system of pipes and ditches can carry hidden streams of pollution that originate from many different types of land uses. Pollutants can include sewage from leaky or broken sewer lines and laterals, detergent-laden wash water from outdoor washing or laundry facilities, paint and other chemicals that are dumped into storm sewers, petroleum products from leaks or spills, concrete washout water, and a variety of other chemicals that may be dumped down storm drains or even floor drains that are inadvertently plumbed to the storm sewer system. These pollutants will eventually end up in local waterways. The local stormwater permit requires localities to have a program to seek out and eliminate these pollution sources, which are also known as illicit discharges. The program is called Illicit Discharge Detection and Elimination, or simply IDDE. Many pollutants are well hidden within the large system of pipes and ditches and can persist for months or even years before being detected. It often involves some clever detective work to find them. As a person who spends time in the field, we are enlisting you as an MS-4 detective. The first thing you should know as an MS-4 detective is that certain pollutants will discolor the water, have an odor, or leave a residue that is not typical for surface water in your area. The following nine categories present a brief introduction to these indicators of water pollution. You may already be familiar with some of these, and some may be new to you. You are also more likely to see some of these color or odor indicators during low tide and less so during high tide when the storm system gets flushed out by tidal water. So let's begin. The categories are sewage, detergents and wash water, water line leaks, sediment, petroleum, concrete washout, fertilizer, chemicals, trash and dumping. We will now briefly describe what to watch for in each of these categories. Number one, sewage. Sewage leaking from sewer lines, laterals, or septic systems will have a sewage odor and can turn the ground or water a milky whitish or grayish color. 
Sewage can also leave a scummy film or residue in pipes or on or below the water surface. You may also see bits of toilet paper or other floating debris. In addition, take notice if the water is flowing at a higher rate than would otherwise be expected during dry weather. Sewage. Look for a sewage smell, milky white growth on ground or water, or an unnatural looking whitish scum. This is a potential sewage discharge. Number two, detergents and wash water. A certain amount of suds can be natural in waterways. Natural suds will appear to create small bubbles stirred up by turbulence in the water, such as water that is falling out of a pipe or culvert. The bubbles may appear to be brownish colored on the edges. However, suds that appear to be brighter, denser, thicker, or more persistent than normal may be an indication that detergents and wash water are reaching the system. Detergent discharges will generally create larger bubbles or sudsy mounds, will cover more of the water surface, and can smell fruity or like chlorine. Detergents and wash water look for excessive and persistent suds that are brighter in color and a fruity or chlorine smell. This is a potential detergent discharge. Number three, water line leaks. Speaking of a chlorine odor, you may also smell that if there is a nearby water line leak. The water may appear clear, but you may see that the water is flowing higher and faster than normal for dry weather. Water line leaks are not a significant pollution source but it is important to report a suspected leak to your utility department because precious potable water may be going to waste. Water line leaks. Look for a chlorine odor and higher flows. That's a potential potable water leak. Number four, sediment. What if the water looks muddy or turbid and it hasn't rained in a while? Also, the water may look muddier than other water sources in different parts of the community on the very same day. That may indicate activities such as construction vehicle washing or construction adjacent to a waterway at sites in the drainage area. Sediment. Look for muddy water during dry weather. This is a potential sediment discharge. Number five, petroleum. Most people have seen the rainbow swirl of a petroleum sheen in a puddle or other standing water. There can be a couple of things that can create a colorful swirl in the water. Natural water can have this type of swirl that results from decaying leaves and sticks. If you stir this type of natural sheen with a stick, it will break apart into many patches. Also, there is usually no odor aside from a possible earthy smell. You may also see a slimy orange deposit in the water or on pipes that may look like it has an oily sheen. This is produced by iron in the water and is usually not a pollution problem. On the other hand, petroleum will produce a thicker, swirling, and more fluorescent sheen, and you may detect a petroleum odor. If you stir this sheen with a stick, it may break apart for a second but congeal quickly back around the stick, and that is due to the viscosity of petroleum products. Petroleum and surface water can be a serious problem and should be reported to your stormwater staff as soon as possible. Petroleum, look for a thick swirling or fluorescent sheen and a petroleum odor. This is a potential petroleum discharge. Number six. Concrete washout. We have already discussed that sewage can create a milky whitish discoloration in the water. If you see this, but there is no sewage smell and the whitish color permeates throughout the water, it may indicate a discharge from a concrete washout operation from a construction site or concrete batch plant. Concrete washout. Look for a whitish discharge but no detectable sewage odor. This is a potential discharge of concrete washout. 
Number seven, fertilizer. Fertilizer and nutrients can be washed into the storm sewer from irrigation or landscape maintenance activities, and also dumping of grass clippings and yard waste into drainage ways. You may suspect this if the water or pipes have an excessive amount of algae, or the algae is a bright green color or looks foamy, scummy, or otherwise unnatural. The water may be receiving an excessive dose of nutrients such as phosphorus and nitrogen. Fertilizer. Look for an excessive, brightly colored, slimy, or unusual looking algae growth. This may be a potential fertilizer or nutrient discharge. Number eight, chemicals. In some cases, chemicals can end up in the storm system because they are dumped or washed into storm drains or floor drains that are incorrectly piped to the storm instead of sanitary sewer system. There are many possible indicators of a chemical leak. Look for red, purple, blue, or black water, a chemical or solvent smell, or a sharp, pungent odor. It is also somewhat common for people to dispose of paint in storm drains. Of course, paint comes in many colors, so you may see water that is discolored with various hues. Dumping of chemicals is an unauthorized activity, and you will want to contact your stormwater staff for an investigation. Chemicals. Look for various unnatural colors and a chemical solvent odor. This may be a potential chemical discharge. Number nine, trash and dumping. The final category is, unfortunately, familiar to everybody. People will dump all kinds of things into waterways or ditches, including trash, tires, auto or boat batteries, chemical containers, pet waste, yard debris, and grease. Dumpsters that are not well maintained can also leak dumpster juice into nearby storm drains. Uncovered or leaking grease bins or dumping grease into storm drains are other forms of dumping. Protecting local waterways involves educating citizens about the damage caused by these activities so, it is important to report them when you see them. Trash and dumping. Look for various types of waste dumped into storm drains, ditches, or waterways. This is an unauthorized waste disposal practice. Now that you know what illicit discharges may look or smell like, you may want to know where you are likely to see these types of discharges. The MS-4 system is composed of many types of drainage structures. The first place you may see an illicit discharge is where storm pipes outlet into streams, ditches, channels, ponds, or other surface water. The water in these locations may be influenced by tides moving in and out or water from the ground that provides a constant source of water. This means that the pollutants can be mixed with cleaner water or flushed away with the movement of the tides. If your work involves roads, schools, parks, or other municipal buildings, these facilities probably have a system of manholes, inlets, and grates that are part of the stormwater system. You may smell something in the vicinity of one of these manholes and inlets, see an oil stain, paint, or suds at a storm inlet, or perhaps hear the sound of flowing water during dry weather in any of these situations, you can call your stormwater staff to remove the manhole cover or grate to investigate. You will likely see water standing in the manhole shaft or pipe. Nevertheless, you may also see or smell one of the pollution indicators discussed in this video. Since you are routinely out in the field, you can be on the lookout for these hidden sources of water pollution during the course of your workday. Your local stormwater department greatly appreciates you serving as an MS4 detective. In Hampton Roads, it is a team effort to ensure clean local waterways. This video 
was produced by the Hampton Roads Planning District Commission, the Center for Watershed Protection, and Lori A. Lilly Environmental Solutions, with generous support from the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. A related video addresses how to track and eliminate illicit discharges in your community. Thanks for your attention. Thank you.